Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'll be covering the best free and premium VPNs for iOS in 2025, including how they compare to Apple's own private relay feature, and which options are actually worth using on your iPhone or iPad. So first, let's quickly talk about Apple Private Relay, since it's often confused with a full VPN. It was released in 2021 for iCloud users, and the way it works is by routing your internet traffic through two different proxy servers. The first, run by Apple, encrypts your data and sees your IP address. The second, Second, run by a third party, decrypts your traffic and sees your browsing requests, but not your identity. Now on paper that sounds private, but there are a few important limitations. First, Apple doesn't have a strict no logs policy, so there's still the potential for traceability. Second, it only works with Safari, which means other browsers and apps on your iPhone are left exposed. And finally, because it relies on proxy servers, websites can sometimes detect it and deny access, which makes browsing feel a bit clunky at times. And that's why a proper VPN is still the better option for iOS since it protects all of your traffic system-wide, not just Safari, while also giving you better security and more consistent performance. So let's start with the free options, since I know a lot of people want to know if they're good enough on their own. The first one is TunnelBear, and this is probably the most user-friendly free VPN you'll find on iOS. They have a clear no-logs policy that's been independently audited, and unlike Apple Private Relay, TunnelBear encrypts all of your online traffic, not just Safari. You also get unlimited device connections, over 45 server locations, and a kill switch they call Vigilant Bear, which automatically cuts your internet if the VPN ever drops. The only real catch is the data cap. It's limited to 2 gigabytes per month on the free plan. That's fine for light browsing, but not nearly enough for streaming or downloading. The second option is Proton VPN. This one also has an audited no logs policy and encrypts everything system wide. What's unique here is that Proton VPN doesn't cap your data, so you can technically use it as much as you want. But the trade-off is server access. They only give you 10 locations on the free version, and those servers are usually crowded, which makes speed slower compared to the paid plans. On the plus side, Proton is open source, so its code can be inspected for vulnerabilities, which adds some extra transparency. Now both TunnelBear and Proton VPN are solid choices for light, everyday browsing, but they're not great if you need something for streaming, torrenting, or anything data heavy. The limitations Limitations on speed and data make them more of a starter option rather than a long-term solution. So while free VPNs are fine for basic browsing, there are a few limitations you'll definitely notice if you try to use them more heavily. The first is performance. Since free servers are often overcrowded, speeds can slow down pretty quickly. That makes things like streaming or torrenting feel inconsistent. And in many cases, you won't even be able to access services like Netflix or Hulu at all. The second is resources. TunnelBear limits you to 2 gigabytes of data per month, which really only covers light browsing or messaging. ProtonVPN doesn't cap your data, but it limits you to just 10 server locations, and because those servers are crowded, you'll often run into slower speeds. And finally, while both TunnelBear and ProtonVPN do have premium plans that remove those restrictions, they're not necessarily the best paid options on the market. That's why, if you're looking for something you can actually actually rely on for streaming, gaming, or heavier use, a premium VPN is usually the better way to go. So let's move on to the premium VPNs for iOS, and the first one I recommend is ExpressVPN. Express is best known for its speed and reliability, which makes it a great option if you plan on using your VPN for streaming, torrenting, or just general everyday browsing. They give you access to over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, so you'll always find a fast connection close by. In my testing, speeds were consistently high, with only about an 18% drop on average, which is smooth enough even for HD streaming or online gaming. On the privacy side, Express has one of the strongest reputations in the industry. They're no logs policy has been proven in the real world when one of their servers was seized in 2017 during an investigation and no user data was found. On top of that, they've gone through over 20 independent audits from firms like KPMG, PWC, and Cure53, covering everything from apps to infrastructure, so you can be confident their claims are verified. The app itself is also really easy to use on iOS. It has a simple interface, quick server switching, and features like a kill switch, split tunneling, ad and tracker blocking, and even a built-in password manager. You can also connect up to 14 devices on a single account, which is plenty for most people. So if you're looking for a VPN that's fast, 
secure, and extremely easy to use across iPhone, iPad, or even other devices, ExpressVPN is the best choice here. Next up is NordVPN, and this is the best option if you're looking for top speeds combined with a wide range of extra tools. Nord has the largest server network of the three, with over 7,900 servers in 165 countries. And performance-wise, it's been the fastest VPN I've tested so far. Using their Nordlinks protocol, I only saw about a 3% drop in speed on average, which is basically unnoticeable in day-to-day -day use. That makes it a great choice if you're planning on streaming, gaming, or doing other high bandwidth activities on your iPhone or iPad. Beyond speed, NordVPN also gives you a really strong set of extra features. Threat protection blocks, ads, trackers, and malware before they even load. You also get a standard kill switch as well as an app kill switch, which can cut off specific apps if the VPN disconnects instead of shutting down your entire connection. On top on top of that, there's Dark Web Monitor, which scans for your personal information and alerts you if it shows up in a data breach. And if you want more control, Nord also offers specialty servers like DoubleVPN for extra encryption and P2P servers for torrenting. One of the newer features is Nord Whisper, which is designed to help users in heavily censored regions gain access to the internet more freely and use apps and services that may not be available locally. You can connect up to 10 devices on one subscription, and just like Express, Nord has gone through independent audits from firms like Deloitte and PwC to confirm their no-logs policy. So if you're looking for the fastest speeds along with the most extra tools and features, NordVPN is going to be a great fit. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is the best choice here if you're looking for something more budget-friendly, but still wants strong performance and features. Surfshark gives you access to over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and while it's not quite as fast as NordVPN, performance was still really solid in my testing, fast enough for streaming, downloading, and general everyday use without issues. They also include Everlink technology, which helps keep your connection stable over longer sessions so you're less likely to run into interruptions. Now where Surfshark really shines is device support. Unlike ExpressVPN, which allows 14 devices, or NordVPN, which allows 10, Surfshark has no limit at all. You can install it on as many devices as you like, which makes it a great option for families or anyone who just wants one subscription that covers everything. Feature-wise, you're getting clean web, which blocks ads and trackers, no borders mode, which keeps the app working, even in regions with tighter controls, and multi-hop servers, which route your traffic through two servers instead of one for extra privacy. Surfshark has also gone through independent audits to confirm its no logs policy, and just like Express and Nord, it includes obfuscation technology so your VPN traffic blends in with regular browsing. So if you're looking for the best balance of affordability, flexibility, and performance with unlimited device connections, Surfshark is the best value option out of the three. So just to quickly recap, if you want the fastest and easiest VPN to use on iOS with the strongest security, then Express is the one to go for. If speed is your top priority and you also want the widest range of bonus tools, then NordVPN is gonna be the best fit. And if you're looking for something more affordable that still offers solid performance and unlimited device support, then Surfshark is the best value overall. Now, while free VPNs like TunnelBear and ProtonVPN can work for light browsing, the data caps, limited servers, and slower speeds mean they're not ideal for streaming, torrenting, or heavier use. That's where these premium VPNs really make the difference, giving you you faster performance, stronger privacy, and more features to work with across all of your apps, not just Safari. And just as a reminder, you'll find links to all three premium VPNs down in the description, along with any current discounts and full reviews if you'd like to explore them in more detail. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions about VPNs for iOS or cybersecurity in general, drop those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.